One thing we share is our love for the Dolphins. We've been season ticket holders since 1988, and we went to all the games that we could afford to go to earlier than that when we were kids and in, in college. Uh, we shared our love for, for Don Shula, Dan Marino, uh, Mark Duper, Clayton, all the famous players. I personally have a little bit more of a love for uh, Louis Oliver and... Uh, and the Gator connection. Uh, Louis Oliver and, Nate, and Nat, Nat Moore because He's actually a gator and a dolphin, so I have a little bit more love for those two guys. But we both love, we have the same intense dislike for Nick Saban, intense hatred for him, uh, for the way he coached and the way he left Miami, and the way he, he dis disrespected the Miami. And at the same time, um, I've, I liked also those players also due to the Florida connection because being that at the time FIU did not have a football team, I rooted for the Gators in main part because my brother is a graduate of the University of Florida. But things changed back in 2002 when FIU got football. And I still love the Gators, but I had a new number one in my heart, which is FIU football. It was FIU number one, Florida number two, and anyone who played UM. I mean, that was basically my formula. It was, it was easy to have that because we never had that upcoming conflict that we're going to have this Saturday coming up. And it was unusual. Uh, to have it. Uh, we always, I, I rooted for FIU as much. I supported FIU baseball, basketball, uh, heard all about it, followed them, wanted them to do well. And then this first time in our lives, we have to actually root for uh, opposing teams. We actually have a, a house divided for a day. I mean, we've always rooted for the same teams. We've always supported each other in every aspect, as much as brothers can support each other. But this Saturday, he'll be rooting for the Gators, and I'll be rooting for my loved Golden Panthers. I think the initial thing that would happen if FIU would win, immediate medication would have to be given to me because I think I would be out of control. Like, my wrist would be slashed. <laughs> my I'd brother go and jump off a cliff somewhere <laughs> and you know it would be really ugly for me. I don't I, think I may I may even while. something may happen with with a Florida fan. I don't know. I'd just be out of control. I would definitely run onto the field by myself and with my boys and my wife would probably join me also. So uh, it would be something dramatic, drastic and uh, tremendously unexpected. I'd be happy the fact that FIU is entering the swamp and that means that's that in itself is an accomplishment that what Mario Cristobal has been able to do with this program and the, and the quality players he's brought in, he's building it the right way. I'm hoping that the two schools get together and have a home and away series so they can kind of play each other on a regular basis. I'd love to see that. Uh, I think competition is always good and when you have a good a good team that you're trying to get to, like FIU's trying to get to that level where they're they're playing for national championships, I think FIU's got the foundation set. you got great coaching. I agree with uh, Eduardo about, uh, about Crystal Ball, I think he's going to be a great leader for, for FIU, and I think he's going to start raising the standards year after year. For